makes sense that way. It's just a fantastic thing. I recommend anybody to try this. And if you don't like it, uh, shut. Well, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of What the Fizz, which is Sparkling Reviews for Fools. On today's episode, what we got here for review is one of my favorites and another one that uh, we'll see how it compares against it. Apple Perrier. Yes, I don't know why they only have this in the small bottles. I don't think I've ever seen it in the big bottles, but uh, they do a fantastic job here. So I am excited to review this guy, the Apple Perrier. And we have the Blackberry Bubbly. Blackberry Bubbly, also very good. I've had both of these flavors, but I'm gonna give it a fresh go. Fresh go here for you guys to give you guys the what's up on it and say if it's, uh, see if it's worth buying or not, right? Off the hop, Apple Perrier. Thank you guys for always tuning in, you guys are wicked. God, wicked, but nobody comments. <laughs> so leave comments, that'd be great. Even if you're arguing in the chat. I mean, no, that's not always the best. First, taste. No, on this one, obviously. Oh, I think out of all of the sparkling waters, this one arguably, arguably has the best smell. Mmm, like that green apple. You know those apple like fizzes? You know those ones that get really sour? Yeah, the sour ones too. Um, the mega sours and the fizz ones. Those two specifically. This smells like those taste. It's freaking amazing. Like, honestly, it's so good. First taste. But a straight mid range carbonation on this guy here. First taste. Wow. Again, so smooth. It's got exactly how I described it with the, the fizz and the mega sour kind of taste. Obviously, it's not too sour. Zero calorie drink. It has that blend of just greatness. Uh, you get a lot of that zing. You get a lot of zing that's got the ebb and flow to it. It's something that's, you're not gonna be disappointed. Like it rises up, it, it elevates, it stays there. It lingers in your mouth with that beautiful flavor. And then uh, you're just left wanting more, honestly. You're like, okay, give me more of that green apple. Give it to me right now. That, honestly, green apple, first taste. First taste, 9.7. Aftertaste, about a 9.3. Aftertaste does trail off a little bit, as it's supposed to, but maybe you could have a little bit more of that elevation, but it's just smooth the whole way through. Call me crazy for giving it such a high rating, but I love it. It's one of my favorites, especially if you're geared towards some of that sugary apple stuff, like, you know, Leo like candy apples and whatnot. Boom. This one's for you. This one's for you, man. Ladies and gents. Balance on this guy here. Balance is going to be at a beautiful 9.5. 9.5 with the balance. Not many other companies or... Sandra she drinks. Not many other companies or sparkling water drinks are going to have that same sort of flow to it. This one does a fantastic job. Smoothness on this, very, very smooth. We're going to call it a 9.6. There's just nothing really bad to say about it, to be quite clear with you. Unless you hate that sort of what I explained for an apple taste. <laughs> and, you know, not much I can do with that. Flavor, they do that really good. I, like, I don't even know how sometimes they get these certain types of flavors with having it like zero calories you know with no ha having no none of that aspartame or anything it's just all natural flavor mind you who knows what natural flavor even means on the ingredients package on the back maybe i should make a minute video just on that alone right <laughs> that'd be kind of interesting wouldn't it just kind of examining and going into detail on what it really means on the back ingredients and so the stuff on the package like... anyway you get these guys as well i should just say as a reminder, you guys get for about $6.99 for a six pack of these apples, right? If you can find them. Um, if you get these by themselves, they range of about $1.99. $1.99, $1.49, right? Depending on the sale price. Uh, again, hard, hard to even find in six packs these days. I'm not sure if the COVID thing has affected that for the shipment of the apple stuff in Canada. But we're definitely seeing a lot less than them. The Circle K's usually have, uh, have, have the most from what I've seen. Sometimes the Walmarts. Flavor on this, 9.7. Connor McDavid, 97. Yeah, baby. Forgot. Put that back up, my view. Ah, gotta have that up, baby. Overall taste and experience, we're gonna call that one a 9.6 simply because some of the numbers I had are lower. It just makes sense that way. It's just a fantastic thing. I recommend anybody to try this. And if you don't like it, uh, shut. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, if you don't like it, it's cool too. But uh, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the better ones. One of the better ones that you'll ever taste. If you can find it, snap it up. It's definitely going to be worth it. Moving along to the Blackberry Bubbly. Blackberry. Ooh. As opposed to the old cell phones, you know. <laughs> We're not going to be reviewing Blackberries here on the show. Sorry. Sorry. You know, you can just always Photoshop Blackberry out here if you want. And it looked like I'm drinking a phone. Old school, old school. Um, I mean, what the hell I'm talking about? First taste. Mid-range carbonation. Very punchy. Got a lot of that kick to the nuts flavor. A little bit of that trail off in the aftertaste. It's a uh, first taste on that guy. Definitely about 8.6. Trails off a little bit at the end there. I'm going to be at 8.1. But they do a pretty good job. Is it the best bubbly in the world? I would say most likely not, but it's definitely up there. You know, and some people, I know that some people will probably think this is one of their, their all-time favorites. I'm not particular to blackberries or blueberries in general in the first place anyway, so obviously there's gonna be a little bit of a bias there, so to each their own. But for that, we're gonna call the average uh, balance on this about an 8.2. I mean, wait, 8.3 makes more sense, right? <laughs> balance is not always the balance between the first and the aftertaste, right? It's the balance of everything coming together, the strength of the carbonation, and how that flavor goes down, how smooth that is, right? Speaking of smooth, smoothness. Smoothness factor in this is very, very smooth. You know, this is definitely something you would buy again. And uh, these guys here, of course, uh, come in the 12 packs. 12 packs of the bubbly, I usually range at about the $5.99 to $6.99 price tag, but most of the time they're actually on sale. On sale for about $4.49 to $4.99, uh, pretty much the best bang for buck at the 355 milliliter mark for a zero calorie drink. So this, 8.6. In terms of flavor, uh, in terms of what you're thinking of when it comes to blackberry, anything about blackberry, anything about blackberry and the, the taste that you would get in a drink form versus the fruit or the berry. Berry, well berry is a fruit. <laughs> I don't know what's with me in this hick slang today. But yeah, the conversion of that between the two would actually fare very well anyway in the first place. So with that being said, I think the punchiness of it, that real kick to the nuts flavor, as I like to call it, uh, is really there. It's really, they do a really good job, you know. And Blackberry might not be my favorite, but it's definitely uh, more of an Android guy. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely on this guy, it's gonna be about an 8.8, .8. yeah. So with the overall value and everything, we're just gonna call this one a flat 8.6. 8.6 on it, definitely a buyback, something you're gonna see more of. It's one of their newer flavors, I believe. I also know that they released a peach flavor, which I will be reviewing. I got over there, I'll be reviewing another episode here coming up. But yeah, I would say that uh, it's definitely worth picking up. And uh, Bubbly and Perrier, always two of the best. They know what they're doing. Uh, they're ahead of the game, ahead of the curve. They're gonna be around for a long time and they're gonna do some beautiful things. So it's good to see them, which leads us to the last part, which is the final fusion. Uh, fusion. Dash of Tabasco on the tongue, tinge on the tongue, and a uh, little hit of this, a little hit of that. Let's see what kind of weird face I make. Let's see if you laugh. If not, oh well, you can tune out any time, I guess. Mm. Whoa, my brain, <laughs> my brain and taste buds are confused, I'll tell you that much. Whoa, it just kind of hits you in like all kinds of different directions there with that. Oh, you just don't know what left is from right. <sighs> Not dying on this one though. I guess you guys have been out of luck in the recent episodes. Maybe I'm just building up a tolerance to it. <laughs> oh, nonetheless, I guess I can handle it. I guess the final fusion, maybe I'll have to amp it up a notch and make it a little bit tougher. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't punish myself at all. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I don't know what I'm talking about these days. <sighs> Either way, it's grounds for some good survival right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you when you guys tune in. Uh, hit the like button there if you like it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you like it, you want to see more. There'll be more coming along aside from all the sparkling water reviews. We have some React videos coming up here. And I'll get back to also doing a lot of my videos where I'm ranting about things and talking about specific things that are on my mind and uh, 
things that appeal to a lot of people things that might be rather interesting actually in my opinion <laughs> but anyway that being said i hope you guys stay real and i will definitely stay caveman cheers <laughs>